I mean, this is something that Donald Trump has been talking about since July. So he's getting millions of dollars illegally from China. And then you say, hey, they impeached me over a phone call that was perfect. Why aren't they impeaching Biden for receiving tens of millions of dollars? Why isn't he under impeachment? Obviously, no evidence about the millions of dollars from China. But is it clear that Trump is a, a major driving force in this to you? He is certainly somebody who supports it, is behind it, has been talking about it, as you see uh, in those clips, uh, has been talking about it uh, behind the scenes, uh, how aggressively he is pushing for it with McCarthy directly, I think, is an open question. But there's no doubt that Trump, and this is his style, he sort of drops something into the conversation and Republicans take it up. And it's often offered as some kind of a suggestion. Um, it's not a surprise that it went this route. I, I, do, I do think it's true, though, that McCarthy's about face was striking in terms of requiring, requiring a vote to move ahead. Why with do you think inquiry. so? Uh, because I think that it speaks to the fact that his members are getting very restless and he sees a real concern for himself from his right flank. And he is very good at reading the room in that way and he sees where danger is coming from and, and he acted. Now, I don't think that anyone else has enough votes to win the speakership right now against him, but I do think it speaks to what everybody thought was going to happen when he became speaker, which is that he is going to be sort of beholden to a certain group of right-wing Congress members. Yeah, and for some of them, an inquiry is not even enough. They want to move right. full steam ahead with it, a full impeachment of President Biden. Well, and it's important to note, Caitlin, that, look, to, to Congressman Goldman's point, we, we don't know, there's there's no evidence so far that ties Joe Biden to any of this, uh, at least nothing that they have brought forward and that we have seen. Now, you know, they're, they're suggesting that that could change if they move ahead. Something else that could change if they move ahead is this could benefit President Biden. This could end up having ramifications for Republicans if voters who don't really want to see these kinds of inquiries all the time feel like this is going too far. And I think what you heard from the congressman just now, what he was talking about, about real work that has to get done, that's what you're going to hear Democrats talk about over and over and over again. Yeah, and what does an impeachment inquiry even look like if the, if the government right. is shut down is another right. question. McCarthy went out of his way today to say this is only an impeachment inquiry. Obviously, that's likely to make moderate Republicans feel better about this. We're in districts that President Biden won. But you know President Trump as well as I do, former President Trump. An impeachment inquiry is not going to be sufficient to a former president who was impeached twice, is it? I don't think so, although it's important to remember that he's also been very focused on getting his own uh, impeachment record expunged. That's been something he's been talking about a lot, too. Um, we will see which one is more important to him, but I do think, to your point, as we have seen former President Trump face more pressure from these criminal inquiries, he has ratcheted up the talk about impeaching Biden, and it will be surprising if he feels content stopping at, we're just asking questions.